the 49,500 passionate fans inside Wembley Stadium to the vibrant sea of colour all around it. The Johnston's Paint Trophy final once again had everything. Tasked with bringing colour to the beautiful game, Johnston's Paint again delivered in its sixth season of sponsorship. A vibrant finale to the competition which saw Chesterfield eventually beat Swindon Town 2-0. And while March the 25th was a red letter day for everyone associated with the Spyrites and the Robins, Johnston's road to Wembley actually began a long time before referee Tony Bates blew his whistle for the start of the game. The stadium was being adorned with Johnston's paint branding in the days leading up to the final, with Johnston's marketing team determined to ensure that the corporate hospitality areas were looking perfect. And with a special visitor in town for the big day on Sunday, they were also preparing a fitting welcome, courtesy of 10,000 face masks in Paolo Di Canio's honour. Enduro Athletic and Storm Shield United, the six-a-side staff team finalists, would also be made to feel at home thanks to the work done inside Wembley's iconic changing rooms. Nobody would be left in any doubt who the Football League trophy sponsors were once Sunday, March the 25th, had arrived. It wasn't long before a tranquil Wembley Stadium became the vibrant focal point for Swindon Town and Chesterfield fans as they made their way to the ground. Wembley Way was quickly packed full of supporters, amongst whom were Johnston's six-a-side team finalists who arrived in good time for their own 15 minutes of fame. Oh, we'll win easily. Don't know by how many, but we'll win easily. We'll be at 3-1. Time in goal. It's every, every one goal, let's see, that's all. Our match, all 2-1. To us, obviously. <laughs> Ex Wimbledon legend Dave Besant was outside the Bobby Moore statue in time for his half time duties. He was facing penalties from competition winning customers Martin Smith, Roger de Bunsen, and David Cuddy. I think this is a, a great, you know, the Johnson's Paint Trophy. It gives the opportunity to, to the so called smaller teams, the smaller clubs in the lower divisions to, to have a big day like this. And you can see by the response of the fans enjoying a nice day today that uh, it's working. <laughs> I'm, play I'm playing today, by the way. Oh, yeah. yeah. 2-0 Swindon. Oh, it's amazing. It's like a massive stadium, much better than like the county ground. <laughs> oh, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> What's the score going to be? I don't know. Don't like to predict, a bit superstitious, but it's a win for Swindon. Well, I'd like to stay positive and say 2-1 to Chesterfield. So, fingers crossed. Johnston's Paint Trophy sponsorship manager Theresa Hardwick took stock of proceedings as everything began to fall into place. I'm feeling great, everything's gone really well. Um, the sun's shining, the branding all looks fantastic and we've got 50,000 fans waiting to come into the stadium so things couldn't have gone any better. Everybody works really hard on the sponsorship throughout the year. Um, it's not just about the final, obviously this is a, a big event for us but throughout the year we have all the matches and all the different activities that we do to give something back to the fans, value-added activities to try and sort of make them share in our sponsorship. Oh, it's brilliant for the company. It's a, it's a great opportunity for us to get to uh, the people are, who I think use our products. Um, we, we definitely need to be involved in this a lot more. Um, I think we've got the next four or five years, but we need to take it on a bit further I think, as well. So it's, it's great for the, for the people who use our products. Are you playing today? I am definitely playing today. What position do you I play? I have no idea, but I don't really care as long oh, as I'm out there. The this shape? is a great setup, isn't it? This is exactly how I imagine it is. It, it is. Um, it's exactly what I've seen before, but to have my own name and everything ready for me is just out of this world. I'm thoroughly going to enjoy these 15 minutes of my life. It's going to be brilliant.
Once Endura Athletic and Storm Shield United played out their game moments before the final, it was the time that everyone had been waiting for. Chesterfield and Swindon Town took to that famous field of play. So began more Johnston's organised pre-match excitement. A disallowed Jack Lester goal for Chesterfield proved to be the highlight of the first half. As you say, big moment for the 20-year-old on his first game here at Wembley. Chesterfield corner. Defended well by the League Two leaders. Ryan Orr put a pick up in the sunshine. Opportunity here, but the flag's up against Ford. The flag up on the far side very early on in the move. It will not count. Ex-Wimbledon legend Dave Besant was facing penalties from competition-winning customers Martin Smith, Roger de Bunsen and David Cuddy. <laughs> Frenchman Alex Mendy was the architect of the opener on 46 minutes, smashing a low cross into the box, which Olivia Risa could only turn into his own net. Low drill, no goal! It's a head in the hand moment for Swindon Town. And in the first minute of the second half, Chesterfield leader Wembley. What a start to the second half. A Craig Westcar breakaway goal provided the game with its most glossy finish deep into injury time. Cue the rapturous outpouring amongst Spyrite's fans. The 2 0 result was no more than Chesterfield deserved after looking at such ease for long periods of the game. Um, to play at Wembley and I mean to win at Wembley, so yeah, it's a great feeling, and I mean, no one can take that away from me, no matter what trophy it is. And you can have a drink tonight, possibly? Uh, I'm not a big drinker, but no, I'll have a few tonight anyway, and um, be happy, really. Got to be. Yeah. For the second successive season, blue was the colour in the end, as Chesterfield replaced Carlisle United as the holders of the Johnston's Paint Trophy.